fucking hell, we're gonna have to go again. No, I'm actually joking, there's no ranting today. Um, firstly, I cannot believe how mad that last video went. Uh, it was me getting some stuff off my chest, trying to kind of set the world to rights over some specific issues. Uh, obviously, been blown away by the response, uh, and I think it resonates with a lot of people because we have lost our way in terms of how complicated things are, the kind of stuff that's rammed down our throats, um, the kind of lack of education, the frustration we have of one minute, somebody's trying to say the dream in this pill form, someone's telling you to drink this, someone's saying you can't have that, oh, you shouldn't do that. So I'm really kind of blown away by it. It is a shame that I have never had a reaction to a video like that, because I went so extreme, because I threw in 500 fucks, because I put some really pretty tongue-in-cheek comments in there. And listen, when you're doing a video online, uh, it's a shame that you have to go to that extreme to capture people's attentions, because we live in a world now where everybody's about extremes. You see it in the political world, the socio-political world, where everybody is like gravitating towards extremes. My view's right, your view's wrong. Fuck off, my view's right, your view is wrong. And we don't seem to have any balance. And I talked about balance in diet. I wanna talk a little bit about balance in, in life, especially on social media. I think we don't need to necessarily go to these extremes to get our message across. So for example, I took a load of heat. Well, no, I say a load of heat. In between all the, the compliments, there's obviously um, a vein, mainly women, bizarrely, with pictures of cats and dogs. I don't know, only cats and dogs. I don't know why, what's that got to be anything. Coming at me saying you're, you're, you're fat shaming people by saying that they look like minibuses with a face. I didn't say anyone was specifically a minibus with a face. You can only fat shame somebody when it's directed to somebody. Only a person can feel shame. So if you feel shamed by what I said, then either you know that overeating is wrong or society has made you feel wrong, but that is different from what I did. I added wit and a slight bit of humor to what I was saying to emphasize a point. And everything else I said was correct. You can't, you can't argue with that. What's really interesting is they do try and argue, uh, but they never do it the right way. They never put a succinct, verbose argument together they just insult you. You're a fucking dickhead, you're an arsehole, hope you die, fuck off mate, you're a try hard, whatever, you, whatever insult they, they, they you know, pick out of a hat. People say, oh, you need to keep the gyms closed. My point, my whole argument was not about keeping gyms open. The world has moved on since we campaigned. That wasn't my point. Um, you know, I wasn't trying to shame anybody. People feel shamed, diseases do not feel shamed. And the first thing we do when anyone has a difference of opinion is, oh, you've offended a section of society. You've got to break a few eggs to make an omelette. We can't go through life making everybody feel comfortable at all times. Sometimes being you know, uncomfortable is important because it creates change, but it's change in the right way. Uh, and I think we have to remember that. And you can't just claim, oh, you've offended a load of people, because I haven't. I didn't point at anyone. Remember, obesity is a disease. It doesn't get shamed. Only people do. When people comment online, they, they have this belief that they're gonna fix the world in the comment section, right? It's very much akin to a, to a blue bottle buzzing at a window, banging its head, making a fuck bucket load of noise, really thinking it's having an impact on the window. Window ain't gonna break, and I'm certainly, I'm, I'm not gonna come in and let it out. So all that energy is just wasted. Nobody has ever fixed the world in the comment section online. I know there's this thing by trial by social media now where you think if you make enough noise, if enough people complain, you're gonna get rid of them. Just think on, before you throw words out like shaming and this and being wrong, it's utter bollocks. What I said is correct, I did it tongue in cheek, and remember, you can only be directed at somebody to feel shame. So when I spread being nice and being kind, I'll never mug someone off directly. And that's the, that's the mistake people are making. You can talk about something, you can be passionate about something, but if, as long as I'm not coming at directly going, oh, you know, Colin over there, he looks like a minibus in the face. That's fat shaming, I'm fat shaming Colin. I said, as a tongue in cheek example, but anyway, that's not the point I'm talking about. What I wanna get across is, let's try and avoid extremes, especially in the health and fitness world, okay? Anybody who believes in dogma, i.e. Or, or spouts dogma, this is the only way to do things, nothing else matters, you've got to avoid. Let's be a bit more picky about who we follow, who we embrace, um, the kind of people we wanna put on a pedestal. And when it comes to nutrition and health, people are throwing the poverty thing at me. Why do we spend all the time at school learning shit you are never gonna use? When how useful would it be to give people an actual rundown of what a protein source was, what a carbohydrate source was, what a fat source was, what does your body, body actually need? How do you prepare these foods? You know, what is the difference between a ready meal and something prepared? What are single ingredient foods? How good can they be? Eating a fucking potato, eating a chicken breast, putting some flavor to it. All these kind of things made out to be so complicated and they don't need to be. So my point is, let us try not to be so extreme. We don't wanna to have to shout and swear just to get 
some attention. So let's try to stay calm. Let's try not to gang up on each other. Let's, let's, there's enough room for difference of opinion, and that comes down to my balance argument. If you're on extremes, you're going wrong. Understand that everybody has a point of view, and that's why politics is such a fucking nightmare, because you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't, and you're always gonna upset people. And I appear to be upsetting people with cats, um, and God knows what else, but it's not a problem, because what I'm saying, I truly believe is common sense. And if you take offense, then that is your goddamn right. But remember, you're not gonna fix the world in the comment section. I frankly don't give a shit. But my point is, is let's try not to be so aggressive and shout down people, because there is science, there is people that you know better than me about how, how things work, but we can still have a formulated opinion, and we don't need to gravitate towards these extreme characters who say their way is the highway, because it marginalizes other people. However, there is a big strain of common sense, and I'm battling for that, because we have lost it in this world, and we are falling a million miles away from what should be common sense because everybody's so worried about offending people and I don't give a fuck about offending people because if the common sense dictates what I'm saying is correct then it's fine and remember comment sections they just say for saying nice things because you're not going to change shit or don't say anything at all love you guys and uh, hopefully you enjoy this video